I'm the first person to put up my hand and say that the health of our economies must always come second to the health of our people, especially at a time of a pandemic. That said, I also recognize the two are interrelated. When we're healthy, we're more productive and economies grow. But there's also this. COVID-19 is triggering multiple dimensions when people can't work, can't earn a wage and can't afford to live. In many cities across China, the lockdowns, some of them lasting 76 days, have begun to ease and end. This means that factories are reopening safely, businesses are earning and people are spending, and what happens in China will trigger reaction in the entire global supply chain. Tesla is one example. The American car maker is seeing an extended rally in its stock. As of April 16th, its share price has gained 26% and counting. But what does that have to do with COVID-19, especially if most of the US continues to be in lockdown? Well, Tesla has its own factory in China that manufactures for clients in China. It's not impacted by what happens in the rest of the world, but it is impacted when China reopens its economy for everyone to participate in. The end of lockdown has seen a huge uptick in China in plans to buy environmentally friendly vehicles like a Tesla car and in applications for license plates which are restricted in China as a way to limit the number of cars on the street in order to protect the climate and reduce pollution in dense urban areas. Here's the rest of that story. I can't drive, but I like cars and I really like Tesla cars. Now more will hit the road because China has its own Tesla factory where the first Model 3 sedans have just come off the assembly line. This is significant on a number of levels. First, the factory did not even exist last January. Second, manufacturing began in October. And third, the first vehicles to be delivered were ready in weeks. But it also marks a different chapter in the global expansion of Elon Musk and one of the most exciting brands today. The first 15 Teslas to be made in China were not sold to just any consumers, but 15 of its own employees who have purchased the cars for themselves. It's a signal that Tesla wants to make in China, but also to sell in China, the world's second largest auto market, and a country that until recently was not known for producing much beyond cheap basic goods. What's clever is that by making and selling in China and keeping these electric vehicles in one country, Tesla extracts itself from any tariffs that come with export and import across borders. There's also something else. Bringing this American EV giant into the Chinese market is going to shake up the local landscape for domestic players like Neo, Xpeng and others. I think that's good. Pitting them against each other brings choice to consumers, which opens the space for smart competition and in turn encourages overall innovation. EVs, fuel conversion and clean energy create an important public narrative at a time when the survival of our planet is at stake. And that's what I think we can all take from this story. Not just a car that most of us can't afford, but how this car in this country and at this time is opening new ways to live sustainably together. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.